For thousands of years, humans have had a need for lifting and moving things around. In the beginning, we were using muscular force, but as we become smarter, we developed solutions requiring less human force. Today, the modern society requires a lot of automated motions. Sometimes it has to spin, sometimes it has to move forward and back. At Cascade Drives, we are developing solutions for linear motion. The most common type of linear motion is hydraulics. Hydraulics are everywhere. It's in excavator, trucks, and even in cars where it helps applying steering and braking forces. A hydraulic system is based on a pump powered by a motor or an engine. The pump is increasing the pressure in a hydraulic oil, which through a cluster of valves and pipes are forcing a piston to move in and out of a cylinder. It's a great system, proven practical and reliable for more than a century. All this seems great, except from the fact that we are up for a major change to the society. And you all know what it is. It's the electrifying era. And suddenly, the hydraulics isn't that attractive anymore. Not only for environmental reasons, but also for efficiency. A typical hydraulic system has an efficiency of only 70%. This is our solution. It's based on our gear and rack principle, with the exception that we are using multiple small pinions on the same rack. This will typically lead to an overdetermined system. But this issue Cascade Drives has overcome by introducing a torsional flex in each of the pinions. This enables an equal load distribution amongst the multiple pinions. And our solution comes with other benefits. Unlike any other electromechanical actuator, this one can handle shock loads. If you imagine an excavator digging and hitting a rock, that's the type of shock load we can handle. And since we are using multiple small pinions, we also are getting a linear actuator with an extremely low inertia, allowing for rapid accelerations and deaccelerations. And as you can see, one single vehicle has multiple potential for our products. This forklift truck can have up to five of our actuators on board. How to quantify the benefits? Well, this is an empty container handler, similar to the ones working down on the port of Copenhagen here, where you can see that the increase in efficiency leads to an energy saving of about 59%. The increase in linear travel speed equals to a production time saving of 42%. And the increase of efficiency leads to a CO2 footprint reduction of 59%. And uh, as if this wasn't enough, our principle is also being uh, possible to apply in uh, how high power density gearboxes used in windmills and automotive industry. We started our journey within the material handling and mining, where productivity is the key driver. But soon, we believe that our technology will be found in many different market segments because we are JIT, just in time for the electrifying era. Thanks.